Well, good evening. Um, on behalf of the Village of Cary and the Board of Zoning and Planning Appeals, I'd like to hereby call this meeting to order on this Thursday, February the 23rd at approximately 7.30 p.m. Uh, we have a quorum of members and I'd like to ask our village clerk, Mrs. Bragg, to please call the roll. Kretschmer? Here. O'Loughlin? Here. Jasper? Here. Williams? Here. Corey? Here. Ladies and gentlemen, I uh, invite you to rise with us for the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. So uh, as a matter of public record, gentlemen, I just want to make you aware um, that we do not have a full complement of uh, ZPA members here tonight. Uh, we have two missing. And I just want to make sure that both parties are comfortable with proceeding uh, with the complement of ZPA members that we have uh, in front of us. Yes. Is that acceptable to Sage and to Stone Development? Yes. Very good. Okay, I just have a couple of housekeeping items that I need to fulfill here. Uh, gentlemen, in front of you, in your packets, uh, you would have received the meeting minutes from um, the last case where Mr. Graciano uh, was the chair. Yep. And at this time, I'd like to ask if there's any questions or comments around those meeting minutes from the last meeting. After review, I found nothing. I tried to be Mr. Graziano. Thank you. <laughs> well done. So unless there's any uh, changes, um, the chair will uh, ask for general consent around the meeting minutes. Uh, those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you very much. All right, gentlemen, so we have um, a couple of cases in front of us tonight. Uh, one from SAGE, um, and that's going to be around a MAP amendment uh, from B2 uh, to BP. And the second case is from Stone Development. It's a conditional use for a solar energy system. And for uh, both of our petitioners, I know perhaps SAGE and, and Stone Development is familiar with our process, but I just want to step you through it so that we're clear on what's going to happen. We typically ask our uh, Director of uh, Community Development, Mr. Simmons, just to outline the case. And then what we'll do, we may have some questions for uh, Mr. Simmons. We'll turn it over to yourselves. You'll make your petition. Um, there's no one in the audience. We typically open it to public comment. I have to do that as a matter of protocol. And then uh, we'll close that portion. I don't think this is going to be a complicated petition from what I can gather. Uh, we may reframe it based upon the presentation. We'll take a vote. Um, the vote will be delivered back to the elected officials, and I think you're familiar with the process. They become the final arbiter of tonight's discussion. So before we begin, I just want to make sure that um, I'm asking my fellow committee members if they have any questions in advance of either petition. And gentlemen, also, um, I think you're aware that within your packet, um, Brian did a particularly good job of outlining some of the new processes and procedures mm -hmm. um, related to zoning and the process uh, for our community. I'm probably going to recommend that Brian waits until the other members are back so we can outline that collectively. So with your agreement, we'll probably table that to another meeting where everyone is present, OK? I would agree. But if you have questions, obviously, we can entertain them tonight. So with that, um, unless there are any other questions, I'm going to call the first case. And that will be. Do I continue? Do <laughs> you want to oh, the two? Yeah. Do okay. you do the two mm -hmm. first? Sure. So. Um, a couple of other housekeeping issues, as you know, and I, I want to just clarify this publicly uh, with Mr. Simmons. And my understanding is that in both cases uh, that we're about to continue was related to notification. Correct. Uh, the two cases that uh, the two residential cases, uh, case uh, 2002 and 2003, uh, the petitions were submitted on time and reviewed by staff, um, but the petitioners uh, didn't complete the necessary public notice in the newspaper uh, timely for the hearings to take place. Uh, the case 2002, it ran a day late, so it was only a 14-day notice. Uh, so we're recommending that that uh, hearing be continued until uh, March 9th. Uh, the second case, um, they still have not run the notice, so I'm going to work with them to run a uh, proper notice to redo the, the mailing as well for that, that case. Uh, so that likely will be heard on March 23rd. Um, so um, both of these cases would need to be continued by voice voice vote this evening to those uh, two respective evenings. Thank you very much, Mr. Simmons. So uh, the chair, I'm, we're going to entertain two separate motions, gentlemen. Uh, on village case uh, ZPA 02002, uh, the request is to continue to March the 9th. Mm -hmm. So moved. 
May I have a second? Second. Any discussion on the motion? Uh, I'm going to do voice vote. Uh, those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you very much. On the second case, uh, ZPA 02003 to be continued again to March 23rd. Third, correct. Thank you. So moved. Second. Thank you very much. Any discussion? On a voice vote, um, those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you very much, gentlemen. Uh, with that, um, thank you for your patience. Uh, we're going to call Village Case <coughs> 17 ZPA 02001 for Sage Products LLC. Map amendment from B2 to B District uh, to BP District. And this will be on the southwest corner of Three Oaks and Georgetown Drive. I think, gentlemen, you're very well aware of mm -hmm. this particular petition from our previous meetings. And so with that, uh, we'll hand it over to Mr. Simmons for an overview. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, as the board is familiar, the Sage Products is proposing an expansion of their existing facility along Three Oaks Road. Uh, they are seeking uh, approval for rezoning uh, from B2 to BP for a, a parcel that they have purchased since the last project went through uh, the zoning process <coughs> last fall. Uh, a brief overview, a reminder, or kind of an overview of the project for both the board and the public that may be watching. Uh, Sage is proposing a multi phase expansion of their existing facility. Uh, in the fall of 2016, uh, a number of uh, requests came before the village board and the zoning board for review, uh, which included the vacation of Sage Parkway uh, and also the rezoning of uh, that vacated right of way, uh, 27 acres of land that was uh, immediately to the east of the existing facility, and then Outlot B, which is a detention basin at the corner of Georgetown and New Haven Drive. Uh, those requests were approved by the village board uh, both in October and November of last year. Uh, and uh, since then, uh, Sage has been uh, pursuing their development of their facility. Uh, they've completed the purchase uh, on, of the entitlement property, so they now own the 27-acre piece. Uh, they have also closed on Sage Parkway, so they own that right-of-way um, and have uh, closed it uh, for public traffic. Uh, they have, since uh, purchasing the, the land, have submitted for building permits, which is currently under review uh, in the Community Development Department of the Village. Uh, and likely we'll see uh, permits issued within uh, the next month or so with work construct commencing uh, likely in April this year. Uh, however, since the original zoning approvals, uh, SAGE has purchased an additional one acre parcel that com comprises the block. Uh, it was not part of the original petition uh, that was reviewed in the fall uh, as they did not have um, a contract to purchase the property that time. Um, but since uh, the zoning approvals in 2016 or November 2016, uh, they since have developed a contract, purchased it, and, and closed on that property. So uh, the request this evening is simply to rezone that one acre parcel, uh, which is located at the corner of Three Oaks Road and Georgetown Drive, uh, to similar zoning uh, from B2 to BP. Uh, again, a brief overview of the project. The first phase, which is uh, proposed to be constructed this year, uh, is a warehouse addition of roughly 200,000 square feet uh, on the south portion of the, the entitlement property. Uh, with future phases, which would include future manufacturing office and warehouse space as well. Uh, the map amendment request, which is uh, before you this evening, uh, is again, this slide gives a little bit more history on the zoning of the property uh, as far as uh, how it has changed over time. But uh, the proposal this evening is focusing on the uh, upper right hand corner of the block uh, where Georgetown uh, Drive curves with this intersection with Three Oaks Road, the signal at that location, uh, the small one acre, uh, somewhat triangular piece of parcel uh, is the subject property that uh, Sage is seeking to rezone this evening. Uh, the proposed rezoning request would uh, be consistent with the zoning approval that was previously approved uh, in November of 2016 um, and would be consistent with zoning for uh, properties to the east and west of the subject mm -hmm. property. Uh, no additional relief is requested this time as part of the project, but uh, would uh, proposed rezoning would have the entire parcel or property that's owned by SAGE uh, within one zoning district. The comprehensive plan, uh, which was adopted by the village in 2015, provides some guidance as far as land use, future land use decisions uh, in this area. Uh, again, the, uh, the slide kind of summarizes a few of those uh, areas of the, the plan speaks towards uh, the subject property. Um, but recommends in the Western Gateway plan to redevelop vacant unreal sites to expand the village's employment base. Uh, and the land use plan uh, 
designates the property for an industry and employment um, that would be appropriate for industrial and business parks. Uh, the proposed rezoning would be consistent with land use designations uh, within the comprehensive plan. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me, this slide uh, summarizes the standards that are provided within the zoning ordinance for uh, MAP amendments. Uh, I'll provide a brief overview of some of them, but uh, the amendment would pro promote the public interest, not solely in the interest of the applicant, uh, consistent with the existing uses of property within the general area of the property in question, uh, the trend of development in the area since the original zoning of the affected property was established supports the request. Uh, and the request is in harmony within the objectives of the comprehensive plan. Mm -hmm. uh, staff believes that the proposed MAP amendment uh, is compliant with the comprehensive plan uh, and therefore would recommend uh, appro the ZPA recommend approval of the following motion. <coughs> approval of a MAP amendment to rezone <coughs> the property located at the southwest the intersection of Three Oaks Road and Georgetown Drive, identified as PIN 1911-403-001. Uh, uh, from the B2 zoning or B2 shopping center business district to the BP business park district. I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you very much, Mr. Simmons. Gentlemen, questions? Pretty cut and dry to me. So. I think so. Welcome, Mr. Brown. So we'll turn it over to the petitioner. Hey, good evening, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, um, Mr. Simmons. Um, my name is Mark Saladin. I'm an attorney uh, with Zank Cohen Wright and Saladin in Crystal Lake. We're here on behalf of the petitioner this evening. Um, we have in attendance Mr. Nick Alexander, who is Associate General Counsel with SAGE, and Mr. Scott Brown. Um, we're very excited to be here in the uh, City Hall meeting room rather than in the Holiday Inn with, uh, with an empty room here. So we're very excited about that. Uh, but the, tonight's petition, Mr. Simmons really has summarized uh, very well uh, the request. It's a very simple, straightforward request for the rezoning uh, to the BP Business Park. It would be consistent with the 27 acres that was done in uh, last fall. Um, this was really a remnant parcel that just was not under contract at the time that SAGE came through in November, uh, so they could not include it at that time. Subsequently, they have closed on that property, so we're here just to really finish off uh, the entire block. Um, this, this really makes sense to keep it BP. Uh, your comprehensive plan is replete with references uh, to this property and this location being um, in the business park designation and to really be a key area for jobs and employment. So really, uh, we're just following through with respect to the comprehensive plan. Uh, Mr. Simmons has really summarized the standards for the MAP amendment. Um, I'm not sure that we should really add anything to that other than uh, we believe we meet all of the criteria under your ordinance for the MAP amended, amendment standards. Uh, we're here to answer any questions you may have. Thank you very much. Um, before you adjourn, let me just double check with uh, the members. Do, gentlemen, do you have any questions for the petitioner? No. 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 All right, it's fairly straightforward, as you'll appreciate, gentlemen. Um, I don't think there's a need to reframe this at all. Um, you'll recall, for those of us that sat through the meeting, and I think we all did, um, that this is a very similar type of thing. So before I call the motion, does anyone have any questions or comments uh, around the request? Okay. Uh, the chair will entertain a motion to recommend to the Village Board of Trustees approval of a map amendment to rezone the vacant property located at the southwest of the intersection of Three Oaks and Georgetown Drive, identified as PIN 1911 403 from B2 Shopping Center Business District to BP Business District Park. So moved. Second. Second. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Any comment or question on the motion? All right, with that, uh, Mrs. Bragg, please call the roll. Laughlin? Yes. Kretschmer? Yes. Jasper? Yes. Williams? Yes. Corey. Yes. So, gentlemen, you have a positive recommendation uh, to move forward. I think you're very familiar with the process now. Mm -hmm. um, you'll be in good hands with Mr. Simmons. Uh, we want to wish you continued success. And I should say, as a matter of uh, public record, since Mr. Brown is uh, from the area that I'm from, go Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate your time. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Continued you. success. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Yeah. Well, we had it. Now it went away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
And um, I think I should also say for the record, um, because part of our process is to open up our um, meetings to the public, there is no one assembled here no. uh, that is signed in the sheet. And I just want to confirm with Mrs. Bragg that that's accurate, because mm -hmm. I know the audience on the television could not see that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Okay. So next up, uh, we have um, Stone Development, and um, I'm going to now call that case. This will be Village Case uh, 17 ZPA 02004. This is for Stone Development Group, a conditional use for a solar energy system at 2250 Crystal Lake Road. And at this time, I'd like to ask our Director of Community Development, once again, Mr. Simmons, to outline the case. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the request this evening, again, is for a conditional use for a solar energy system. Uh, per our code, uh, solar energy collection systems require conditional use approval. They're not uh, specifically permitted within any zoning district within the village. Uh, brief history on the project, uh, as some of the board members um, are here, were. Uh, on the board when it went through the process, um, but we have had some changeover since uh, the original approvals. Uh, the project re originally received uh, zoning approval back in February of uh, 2015 uh, for conditional use and lot coverage variance uh, for a uh, daycare facility. Uh, the project also required an amendment to the existing annexation agreement, uh, which was approved by the village board in May of 2015. Um, and since then, the uh, petitioner has worked through the permitting process and uh, made some minor revisions to their plan for uh, value engineering uh, issues um, that they've recently uh, obtained permits from the village in 2016. Uh, construction of the facility has commenced uh, where the structure is um, uh, actually being erected on the property as we speak. Um, and their current proposal this evening uh, is seeking to install solar panels on the roof uh, of the uh, 18,000 square foot uh, daycare facility. Again, under our zoning code, um, solar panels would require conditional use uh, approval, which is why the uh, petitioner is here this evening. Uh, a brief overview of the project. Uh, the slide shows the uh, orientation of the, the building uh, facing uh, Crystal Lake Road. Uh, the uh, areas that are in the upper right-hand corner of the slide, uh, you can see where the solar panels would be installed on the roof. Uh, and then a, a larger uh, blow up of the same image would be on, on the left hand side of the screen. Uh, the view from Crystal Lake Road uh, due to the roof pitch, uh, the solar panels would be obstructed from view uh, from a direct uh, view of the building from the roadway. Uh, however, if you're traveling east or westbound, eastbound or westbound on Crystal Lake Road, you may be able to see it if you were to glance over um, at the property. Um, however, um, with the uh, dis the Placement of the solar panels has been uh, designed to limit the, the exposure to the adjacent roadway and uh, surrounding properties as well. Uh, per the zoning ordinance, uh, there are certain standards that need to be met in order to support a conditional use, uh, which are summarized by the slide. Uh, the use would not be detrimental to or endanger the public health, safety, uh, or general welfare. Uh, use will not sub substantially diminish or impair the value of properties within the immediate vicinity. Uh, not impede the normally orderly development of surrounding property, uh, contribute to an overburdening of municipal services, and is uh, consistent with the policies and future land use maps and the village's comprehensive plan. Uh, based off uh, staff's review of the petition, uh, staff believes that the proposed uh, solar panels meet the conditional use standards, uh, and therefore would recommend uh, that the ZPA recommend approval of the following motion. Uh, approval of a conditional use for an accessory solar energy system, uh, for the subject property, uh, subject to the uh, two conditions listed in the staff report. Thank you very much, Mr. Simmons. Uh, gentlemen, uh, before we move forward, questions for Mr. Simmons? Again, I think it's a fairly straightforward comment, but um, good, Mr. Olaf. It's just one quick question to you, um, and, and I'm all for alternative energy, <laughs> considering my job in life. Um, does this open us up for any, um, I forget what you would call it, but does this give us, once we start allowing this type of alternative energy, is it then guaranteed that we have to allow wind power? Because I know that's a much bigger animal because it makes a lot of people ugly. Yeah, it, from a code standpoint, uh, this is a specific use that's listed in our land use table. Okay. Uh, so this is treated differently than wind power. Then it would wind be a power. wind power? Yes. Okay. And okay. our code currently does allow wind uh, generation uh, within the 
uh, opens the park and open space district. Yes, yes. Um, and as part of our upcoming UDO process, that could be an area that we might review as far as if it's something that we would like to allow in other areas. So we, or, we've separated them enough to not make this a case correct. for somebody saying, well, you allowed that alternative energy. Correct. Yeah, we've actually defined them out as each individual correct. alternative if, energy. If, okay, currently, perfect. if a resident wanted or a, a business wanted to install a wind generator on their property, it would require a text amendment to change the code to and then, allow yeah. that. Perfect. Okay, thank you. Yeah. That was my question. Good question, Frank. Thank you. Gentlemen, other questions? Okay, um, Mr. Lee, um, you probably saw how that last process unfolded. So if you'd like to um, come forward with your petition, if you have additional comments or questions for us, you're welcome to do so. Okay. All right. So um, again, gentlemen, I think this particular case is rather straightforward. Um, some of you may recall we actually sat together when we were originally talking about this petition um, over a year ago, I think. Okay. Um, so, unless there's other questions, I'm probably going to call this case. Um, but I think what I want to also do for the folks maybe watching this, um, we would normally open it up to public comment. Uh, but for those of you that can't see, uh, there is no one assembled in this room other than Mr. Lee. So, uh, there will be no public comment. So, with that, I'm going to now call um, the chair will entertain a, a motion to recommend to the Village Board of Trustees approval of a conditional use for an accessory solar energy system for the property located at 2250 Crystal Lake Road, subject to the two following conditions. One, the conditional use shall be granted for the property located at 2250 Crystal Lake Road. And two, the proposed improvements shall substantially conform to the attached plans and exhibits as part of this petition, except as they may be changed to conform to village codes and all conditions of approval. So moved. Second. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, questions on the request? Comments? Okay, at this time I'll ask Mrs. Bragg uh, to please call the roll. Alachlan? Yes. Kretschmer? Yes. Williams? Yes. Jasper? Yes. Corey. Yes. So, Mr. Lee, you have a positive recommendation to move forward. I think, um, I know you may not be as familiar with as Sages, but you need to coordinate with Mr. Simmons. Um, the next step in the process is to go before the village board for formal final approval. That's the process. And so my recommendation would be to, to stay close with Mr. Simmons and he can give you the exact dates in the process procedure moving forward. So we'll wish you continued success. Excuse me. Yeah. Thanks so much. You're very welcome. All right. So, gentlemen, uh, before I close the meeting, um, I just want to reaffirm that um, we're comfortable not going over the administrative procedure that Mr. Simmons has outlined uh, related to the process in town, but rather we'll delay that when we have the full complement of um, ZPA members. No, I would, I would completely agree. Um, the main reason being we're missing Mr. Graziano, and I like his overall inputs on things. <laughs> yeah. He's been doing this twice as long as any of us. So. <laughs> we, we agree. Yeah, we agree. Okay, so uh, before I close the meeting, did anyone else have any questions? I know there were some questions about upcoming meetings that perhaps we just want to reaffirm. Sure. Uh, yeah, as far as upcoming meetings, we will have uh, both dates in March uh, for the regular meeting for the two residential cases that should have been uh, this evening. Uh, so March 9th and March 23rd, there will be meetings to review those cases. And then March 21st, we will have a joint uh, zoning board and uh, village board meeting to discuss the UDO with our consultant uh, prior to them actually starting to draft the revised code language. Uh, so it'll be kind of the next phase of that project to kick off uh, revisions to our zoning regulations. And just so there's no confusion, Mr. Simmons, the times of those meetings will be on the 21st? The 21st will be at 6 p.m. And then the two... Uh, Regular zoning board meetings would be at 7.30 p.m. Very good. Where is that one on the 21st? It'll be located in this room. Okay. So we may uh, change the setup for that meeting, but we'll try to have a workshop for that residents and uh, mm -hmm. uh, the boards can both be in here and discuss that plan. Sounds good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right, gentlemen, uh, unless anyone has any questions or comments, we're probably going to... So moved. <laughs> Second. Yeah. Right, you well, had me you. down as not being there on the 21st, yes. right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, so I need a sec. Who said I need that? a second. Second to go home. Okay. <laughs> our, meeting, our meeting is adjourned. Thank you very much, everyone.